I'm Nicola Hunt, the somewhat deranged creator of Fist of Awesome on the Ouya. Fist of Awesome is a time-travelling lumberjack come up heavily inspired by games from the golden age of beat-em-ups from the early 90s. Games like Final Fight, Double Dragon and Streets of Rage. Fist of Awesome opens with its main character, Tim Burr, losing his family and his house in the blink of an eye. In an unexpected turn of events, his hand starts talking to him, proclaims itself to be the mighty Fist of Awesome, and takes control of his body. He finds the world as he knows it gone, and bears and are the dominant species on Earth. Tim and Fist embark on an epic journey through time and space to restore Earth's original timeline frequently by punching bears in the mouth. It's based on a true story. Now, I've been involved with Ouya since early in the lifetime of Fist of Awesome. I ran a successful Kickstarter campaign last year, and all throughout people kept asking me, Will there be an Ouya version? Well, I craftily replied, If Ouya gave me a free developer kit, then I will make a version of the game for it. I honestly thought that would get me out of it. Unfortunately, Ouya only went and gave me a developer kit. That itself, though, is an example of Ouya's commitment to small developers. They ran a competition where small developers who used social media to get their attention would be 10 of the first people to get development kits straight off the production line. My Kickstarter backers took it upon themselves to ensure I was one of those 10 and I lived up to my original promise. Now, I've been making games for a long time and I've worked at companies like Codemasters and Real Time Worlds on games with multi, multi million dollar budgets. But I truly believe now is the best time to making games. Never before has there been such huge possibilities available to small developers. When I was a kid, the idea that I could create a game in my bedroom for a real console and make it available to people all around the world was pure science fiction. But now I am making a game in my bedroom and the teaser version has already been downloaded and played by people all over the world. I'm getting fan mail from people I've never met and to be honest, it's all quite surreal, but it's all because Ouya is a company that's not afraid to take chances on the console itself, on the content and indie developers, and most importantly, on me. So thanks Ouya, and thank you for watching.